unfold it. I know, but think about it, John. Two weeks in the beach in the sun. Just the two of us. I can't think of anything worse. What do you mean you can't think anything worse? What's so bad about spending two weeks with me? Look, it's not that. It's just we don't have the money. Then you lock the door. Of course I lock the door. Of course I lock the door. Then why is it open? Sit down and shut up. What's, what's going on? You okay? You touch her, I will kill you. Shh, I'm trying to find the news. Oh no, present. That the police are hunting three men found an arm raid here in city centre this morning. We also get some reports that a policeman was rushed to hospital with a suspected gunshot wound and is currently in critical condition. Members of the public are advised to be cautious and to report anything suspicious. We will bring you more on this story as news comes in. Right, where were we? Oh, I. Was there something you wanted to say to me? No. Good. Right, listen, there's two ways this can go. You can do it the easy way. All you need to do is as I say. Or, you can go your own way. But hey, the choice is yours. You understand? I don't want any surprises. And I don't want any misunderstandings. So I want you to think very carefully about what I'm going to say. And think carefully about your answers. Okay? Right. Is there anybody due to come round? Friends, family, nosy neighbours? No. You due to be anywhere? No. So wait a minute, you're just two little people living in your little flat and nobody's going to miss you for a while? No. I guess not. Perfect. Well, that means we can all relax for a bit then, doesn't it? How about a nice cup of tea? How long he's been here then? About a year and a half. Aye, where were you before that? Brother Glenn. Brother Glenn? You're kidding. Me and all. Small world, eh? Here. Do you know Big Monkey Dave? No, I don't think so. Really? I thought everybody knew Monkey Dave. What about Miggy the Midget? No, I've never heard of him. We're obviously mixing different circles then, eh? But I'm sorry, but how long do you intend keeping us like this? Yeah, don't worry. I'm just waiting for a phone call. Then I'll be out of here in no time. Run. Run, now! This is your best chance to get away. Don't worry about me, just go! Like, Yep. Yeah, but we've got it all here. I'm staying with a couple of friends now. You don't need to know where. Look, we'll handle everything before I go, okay? Yep. Yeah. I know the place. See you later. We'll be out of here soon. And that'll be me. Off to enjoy myself in the sun for a while. You guys got any plans to get away? No. We can't afford it. Wait a minute, two years work. You live in a place like this. You can't afford to get away for a wee bit. Well that's shit. Here. Do you watch nature programmes? I love nature programmes. They're okay. What's your favourite animal? Orangutans. <laughs> I can tell that I'll be looking at him. What about you? I don't know. I don't have one. Oh, come on, everybody's got a favourite animal. 
Do you want to know what my favourite animal is? Tiger. Well, you don't see a tiger working its balls off for nothing, do you? No, you don't see many going away on holiday either. Easy, pal, easy. I'm trying to tell you something here and you'd do well to listen. You might actually learn something. No, what I've learned from nature programmes. We live in a, a herbivore society. We're taught to follow the herd, to graze away and consume our goods, make like we're happy. And all the time, we're being milked for all we're worth. No, me though. I'm a carnivore. I take what I want, when I want it. And society objects to that. Why? Because it's immoral. No. Because it's illegal. No. Society objects to that because I'm a threat to the herd. That's why. Speaking of carnivores, I'm starving. You guys get any food? We've got some ready meals in the freezer. You want to be a sweetheart and go and pop one on for us then? She's a good one, she is. You know, some birds nowadays, a wee bit too much to say for themselves, you know what I mean? No her though. She's nice and quiet. So here, tell me, is it true what they say? You know about the quiet ones? Listen to what you're saying, Alice. Angel, you listen to what I'm saying. There's two ways this can go. There's the easy way, or you can go your own way. You know what that involves. But hey, the choice is yours, babes. <laughs> 